Hello and welcome to TGS Next Gen with me Mark. Today I'm going to show you how to get your Wii U streaming media files from your PC. It's so simple and with the, the help of Plex uh, you'll have this running in no time at all. So all we need to do first of all is go to the website. So the website is simply plex.tv so jump on over there I'm just going to show you a few of the things that they've got going on. If you install Plex on your PC then you can stream to all manner of different things. Uh, you can stream to mobiles, you can stream to TVs, you can stream to all sorts. So first, just go into the website and download the software. I'm doing this on a Windows 8 PC, so this is all you need to do, but you can run it on Macs, Linux, and free BSD. This is multi-platform, so yeah, it's brilliant. While we let the file download, what all you need to do is to sign up to Plex. Tap in a username, an email address, some kind of password and whack in your birthday. This is not when I was born, just so you know. Agree to the terms and sign up. I've already done this, so all I need to do at this stage is sign in to the website. As so. So here we go. There's me, Mark TGS. Whack in my password and sign in. Once you're signed in and you have the software installed on machines, then they will come up in this server list. At the moment I have none because I haven't installed it on my PC yet, so here we go. Simply install C drive wherever you're going to install it and let that run. Once that's done, click on launch and the software will open up in the bottom right corner in the taskbar as you can see here so when you can see that in the taskbar you can right click on it and go to media manager once media manager is open it will open a web page and this is your central hub for administering uh, your media server so what you want there's a few things you can do but the first thing you need to do is add a library. So I'm just going to show you in this video how to add a library of movies. So find the folder that you've got your movies in. I've got it in my videos there. And click save. You might want to change the name actually just to make it uh, what you want it to be. I'm just going to call it my videos because it's not just movies in that folder. You might want to make it simple like that. It's completely up to you. So all you do now is you just click save. And it will populate the list. So you can see it there, refreshing. I've got a few things there, a few random things. Uh, samples, clips. Got just TV show here, A Resurrection. So uh, just a sample, that one. And I'm just going to press play. This is playing it on my PC, just so you know. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go forward a little bit in the program. And go back. So once you've gone back, you can see in the list there, on deck, that means it's paused it at that stage and it will keep that in that state until you go onto another machine. Right, all we need to do now is make sure that's up and running and hop over onto our Wii U. Now the Wii U does not have any media center functionality built in which is a real letdown um, but because of this you can you can get this up and running get streaming going on. There is Netflix, Love Film, all those things but if you want something that you're not going to have to pay for, um, then Plex will be your best option for the Wii U. So click on, I've, made, I've actually saved it as a bookmark there, it simply is Plex.tv from your Wii U. As you can see there, it takes you to the same website as you went to earlier from your PC. Now you don't need to sign up from here because we've already signed up before, installed the software, everything else. So all we need to do simply from the Wii U is open the web page and sign in. So I'm just going to click on there and sign in. So what you need to do with the sign in is make sure you're using the same credentials as you did on your PC. That's the only way that the server is going to show up in your list. Once you've done that, just click launch and Plex Media Manager will open. There is a, uh, a few things here to look out for. On deck, this is what I spoke about previously when I was on the PC. This would actually resume what you were doing before on that video. So you can see if the other videos here that I've got from my folder, if you had photos, if you had music, if you had anything else, then all that stuff would work as well. 
I'm just going to click on the video here just to show you how the resume function works. Once the video is open you'll see resume from and it will have the time that you stopped pl playing it on your PC. Very straightforward and look at that straight away it's playing on the Wii U. This is so handy for when you're browsing between devices that you can resume the video instantly from another machine. It's that simple. And you can also do this on 3G on your mobile as well. So that is the basis of it. Uh, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more you can do. You can organize your folders and blah, blah, blah. But in simple terms, this is how you can get your Wii U playing videos through your TV, HD, everything else. So any questions, please put them in the comments section below. I really hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, thank you for watching.